Mm-hmm. It, so I always push myself. That's why I don't know what the word potential means. Because right. potential, that's a gap. That, I mean, that's a, you stop. That's a wall. I don't know what that means. So I'll always push myself harder. And whether people like it or not, at least for me, I'm trying things and trying to be better. Bow, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're going over the rapper, the producer, the director, and all-around creative, Tyler, the creator, and the thoughts that he take on to become successful. So here's seven tips from him. We live in a society where a lot of people are followers and they can't, you know, make their set opinions. Like, I have friends going to college for stuff that their parents want them to go for, and they're not even happy or anything, but they're just trying to please them, and in the long run, like, I mean, what's what's gonna be there? Your parents, your parents die, and you're just stuck there, like <laughs> paying debt, paying debt for something that you didn't even want to learn in the first place. So I just try to tell people to just think for themselves, and they'll be way happier in the long run. Are you gonna get paid up front from this, from Lloyd? Is Lloyd gonna cut you a check? Am I getting paid up front for this? You didn't get you didn't get your check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it's not a it's not about it's not about money for me. Like it's not it's not. I wanted to. Do I wanted my own network. I wanted to put, I wanted to do something cool. And it's always about just me doing something that I think is awesome. And the money will come. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. That'll, that'll come when the universe decides for it to come. Greatness is a different definition of different people. Greatness to me is when I land that fakey half cap hill on my skateboard or some shit. Greatness is the song I recorded last week. Somebody might not find that great, but it's great to me. And that's all that matters. What the fuck I think in my head. As long as I like it, that's all that matters. Greatness to me is finally getting my video on MTV. It's on there now, and I'm fucking, I'm happy. I finally got my shit on fucking MTV. Some people might think that's selling out or whatever, but I don't really give a fuck. That's fucking great to me. I'm proud of myself. I've been wanting that since I was seven years old, and I finally got that shit. And hard work pays the fuck off. A few things that have inspired you lately. I know you guys uh, don't have just like one genre, one form of inspiration. To be better than everyone, because I hate everyone, and I want to be better than them, and I want them to know that. So I'm coming for Kanye West's head, because he's my competition. <laughs> well, when I was younger, about, let's say, 16, 17, 18, 19, mm-hmm. I was more creating worlds and characters, and, you know, I, I would read a lot of, like, just because me liking to learn, Mm -hmm. I would read about certain people and then just try to get in their head and see what how they would write a song. Mm -hmm. And then now I kind of just write about my life. Like I have a song called Hair Blows on the new album that's Mm -hmm. just talking about I like when this girl hair blows in the car. Mm -hmm. And that's I wrote that because I was with uh, a female friend of mine and we were in my car and she was hanging out the sunroof and her hair was blowing. And I felt like the man, and I wrote a song about it. And um, I think a lot of artists kind of mess up because you don't know much about them Mm -hmm. after a certain point in time. So I try to just, I realized none of my music will sound the same if I just write songs actually about my life. Because every two years, you should not be in the same Same place place. you were. But it does take some courage, though, to be still transparent about your own life. Well, a lot of people aren't honest because they're they're not comfortable with themselves. That's right. So that's why you have a bunch of songs about the same things on the mm-hmm. radio because one, it's comforting to the to a simple listener and two, people just aren't comfortable with themselves. They're not easy, they're, they're not, if I was like, hey, I'm depressed, mm-hmm. you'll be like, wow, but because a lot of people won't be able to do that or mm-hmm. tell you what they like and stand for it and why they won't like it. Yeah. And that goes again with a lot of people being closed-minded. He's Tyler. <laughs> I'm DJ Ski, and uh, that was the carnival. 2000, what year? The carnival was tight. How did it feel? It was the fourth one? Mm-hmm. Did you think that it would grow to be something no, this massive? No, we was going to cancel it this year, but we didn't. We was literally like, F- it, and then we did it, and then a lot of people came. Why were you going to cancel it? I don't know. We couldn't find anyone to perform. It was just such like a, because we're like specific on how we like, wanted who we wanted there like things like that and we couldn't come up with the perfect thing and it was just a depressing time and we was about to say Fuck it until we was like Fuck it what are we doing like where's our spirit and we just we ran it back and this is our biggest we dummy doubled up since last year it's crazy 
Tyler also knows that the continued success of Camp Vlog Na has the power to open a lot of different doors for him. The success of this allows me to have somebody take a chance on me doing something else cool that I want to do. The carnival is one of those things that's on my resume that allow me to do cool shit that doesn't have to do with the carnival or anything. The success of this has allowed me to get in rooms with certain companies and certain people to talk and it's great because my music alone wouldn't have done that. All right, thanks for watching. I have a bonus clip coming in a few seconds, but of course, if you like this video, you like this channel, you wanna see more, subscribe, of course, and let me know if you wanna see a particular video on a person like this or just me talk and go deep on a certain topic. Other than that, let's get back into it. Tally, for you, you've, you've got a deal on Cartoon Network. That's Time Warner. You've got a deal with Sony. You've, you've used this apparatus, even though you're only 23, you've used this existing system to build up your profile. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you could start literally without any of this support system and, and, and create yourself? Yeah, of course, because that's, that's how I started. Like, the, the, the way that I got famous was me going on Tumblr and creating my own website and just putting things out like that with the strategic, you know, it had a strategy to it, but putting out music for free and that's how it got known. And the next thing I know, Sony's like, hey, we'll give you a bunch of money to do X and O and we just eat a little bit. And I've used them to my advantage in the same way that I've used other things, you know, to my advantage. They didn't make you? No, not at all. <clears throat>